Okie dokie. Welcome back, guys. This is episode 9. So, uh, I know I promised that piston door, and I, I started to take it apart, and I was like, wait. And I went back in, and I practiced with creative mode. And due to a bug that may just stay in the game because um, of its uses, the door that I wanted to work or that I wanted to make doesn't really work anymore. <laughs> so... Because, like, with pistons, if I come up here and put that there and that there, this block right here is powered. So when I update this block, this one updates, because for some reason it thinks it should be powered. And, like, I can remove the power, but it'll stay there until you update something next to it, and it updates itself. Um, I guess that's... I don't know. It it was originally a bug, but I think they're just going to keep it. Maybe they'll just explain it away as it's jamming or something. I'm not sure. But, nonetheless, um, because what I wanted to do was power these the top pistons from the above so that the pistons would come out from the side, and they would get pushed out to here, and then get pushed forward and push blocks into this wall, but that won't happen because for some reason you can't push a piston that's already extended so, oh, there you go so like if I do this um, and then try to power this piston it, it can't push it because it's already extended so um, the top pistons would push like they would get power from above and or the power would come onto this block which the pistons would be here just resting and as soon as this piston tried to push it forward it would update and extend so it couldn't get pushed forward I don't know if there's a way to fix that or not but um, as of right now it's not gonna work so what I propose to do instead is grab some smooth stone <clears throat> and I'm going to make another door that's also simple but a bit nicer <laughs> um, so yeah so I'm gonna need let's see where, where'd my dust go oh, there. so I'm gonna need that there um, I'm going to put the button over over here and it's just gonna be one button you just press it and the door will open um, I'd love to put it somewhere else but because of the way this thing is shaped it's it's a little difficult to get it anywhere else um, like I, I suppose I could try putting it there but I don't know it just it feels better to have it on a 90 degree angle with the wall and I don't know but anyway so let's see we're going over one two three four five six seven eight so now one two three four five six seven eight okay now I don't know how many out I need to go so we go one two three four five six one two Oh, jeez. <laughs> My uh, pick broke and I didn't have another one. Okay, so this door is pretty much just going to be very basic. It just... Um, actually, I wonder if I should use glass for the door. That might look pretty cool. Uh, it's going to be a... It's just going to push blocks out from... From these blocks out in out into here so it actually opens and closes sideways instead of just pushing out the block like it did. Three, four, five, six. So now um, I'm just going to do that and then alright. I can hear the piston going. I know you can't but I can so that just means it's, it's working. Alright, I need some regular torches now just to light up the area back here because it's pretty dark. Um, 
Sorry for making weird noises. I'm just thinking. Okay, so I'm going to put a a T flip flop over here. Um, um, I'm just gonna put that there so I remember that that's where the um button is. I'm gonna grab this. And that goes the no. First, I need to go down one. Okay. So now, I need a piston there. And a piston here. Oh, these need to be regular pistons, not sticky pistons. And then dig down here. Put that. Whoa. Uh, that's. Oh, right. Um, the pistons are powered if they have power going into redstone wire up here, um, which may have something to do with that glitch. But like, it this won't power it being next to it. But if I had it up here, it would, which is why it did that weird thing. So now I just need to put that there and there, then break the torch, put those there, and there we go. And now we have a T flip flop. Because when this activates, um, the only one of these pistons can be extended at a time, even though both torches are lit. So this torch powers this piston, and this torch powers this piston. So they should both be going, but because this one's on, that one can't be. So when you turn this, when you press this button, um, it turns off both torches, which pulls this one in, and um, um, you know, I'm not really sure. I wonder if it would work with a lever. Oh, well, you know what? Let's find. Oh, I don't have a lever on me. Um, because I'm I'm not really sure how that works exactly. Normally I, I know these things, so I want to test it out. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, I'll just dig a hole here for the torch. And the reason the torch goes there is because... The, nope. Oh, I suppose that would work too, but is because this block, when when a torch is under a block, it powers that block. So that means if I pull um, wires from this block, it'll they'll have power. So when it flips um, and that happens, it turns it off, and one button pressed will flip it, I, like one way or the other. So, um... Um... Okay, yeah, see, um, when you turn it off, for some reason, this one is staying extended. Possibly because there's a torch down there. I'm not really sure why. Um, or maybe it's because this is powering it? I, I don't know. But when you, <clears throat> when you unpower it, the torches go back on, and this one has to unextend. Or, there's got to be a better word for that. Retract. And this one, then once this one's in the middle of retracting, this one extends. So, um, you can make a, a T flip flop like that so that you can alternate, you can toggle with one button press instead of having two, instead of having to use a lever, you can use a button, which I just like buttons so much more, especially if you're making like a lock or something because, um, uh, levers, like, you know, say you want one, you have to have certain levers up at in order for it to work, like at one time, and you go and flip the combination, and then somebody else comes along and the combination's still flicked because you used levers. So all you can do is, um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I hope that made sense to some of you guys, but anyway. Um. Oh, 
boy, I'm going to go over here. Okay, cool. Now, let's see. Um, oh, God, we're over. <laughs> does it reach? Oh, good, it does. Okay, so now that door, which I can just hook up another button to that redstone stuff there, and, oh, now I need to unpower it because the door's closed. I don't have a button to get back out. So... Um, okay, I can't really show you that right now. Oh my god, I have to go. Okay, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.